Hello, darlings. Happy Friday to you. The last video of the week. We've got a Design Me Devon coming for you today, my darlings. Coming in the form of the Old Cornish Mine. I think that's what it's called. The Old Cornish Mine. Um, gorgeous build done by obviously one of you guys. So we're going to go and renovate this today. I haven't done a Design Me Devon in quite a while. I can't even remember the last time I did a Design Me Devon. But here it is, you know, it's here. There's so many lovely builds on the gallery. I've got my eye on quite a few of them. So we, we need to get back into this series a little bit more. But I like kind of, I don't know, sporadically placing all of these series that we're doing and just mixing it up every week slightly. I like it. It keeps things fresh, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So, yeah, enough talking. We're going to go and, as always, have a look on the gallery, have a nose through the build, and then we'll crack on with the renovation process. So, here we are. I was right. It's the old Cornish mine. This was done by the user Mona the Vampire. She's a nice little girl in an ordinary world. Show us your fangs. Yay, Mona. Just had to get that in there. Anyway, if people would be like, be like you don't understand that. I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was an old cartoon series. I shouldn't need to explain jokes. They don't end up being jokes then, do they? Anyway, so the old Cornish mine. This dilapidated Cornish mine has been handed down several generations by a family that ran the local mines in the 19th century. After the death of his grandmother, a budding young architect has inherited the mine and a budget of 65,000 simoleons and wants to make this renovation his next project. He and his husband have plans to make their forever home together, but they also plan on renting the house out to tourists in the summer while they go traveling. And I just loved the way that this looked. And obviously the name just like cropped up and I was like, I need to do that. I need to do that. Um, It looks great. It looks great. I've had a little nose around it and it's beautifully built. So let's do that together, shall we? And here she is. I placed the build down on 30 by 20 lot in Brindleton Bay. Uh, I just thought it suited this area. Um, stunning. I love this. I especially love how you did the roof over here. Like the roof's like broken down over years. I love the way that you've like put all of these different height half walls and stuff to make it look like the walls have been crumbling down. And this blade, and especially with like the, the beams going across here, it just tells a story, this does. And I love how you've executed this build. It's so bloody cute. I cannot wait to renovate this. I've got lots of ideas, I think. Um, I'm loving the big like chimney area as well. This big like vast, vast chimney area, which were very prolific in the Cornish times. They used to mine tin in Cornwall, um, amongst other things, I think, as well. But um yeah, you still see these kind of like big like chimney, like mine chimneys. I don't know what you would call them. Um, on the landscape, several areas in Cornwall, which I love. And I love that it's in The Sims. I just think it's lovely. The landscaping that you've done, beautifully executed. I mean, I'm in love with this build. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm definitely in love with this build. It's going to be so interesting to... um. To furnish, to furnish and renovate. So we're going to start on the ground level. So on the ground level, they've got this like sort of platform tiered level going all the way down to here. Um, I've had little things about what I'm thinking about doing. So these are my thoughts. I definitely want to utilize the this area itself and make this into a room. I don't know what room to share. I was thinking living room, but then I really want to do a kitchen down here. So I want to do a kitchen down on this level. I think I'm going to not completely flatten this all out, but maybe just raise up a few of the platforms down here have a lovely big outside space here as well maybe with a nice bit glass door i'm definitely going to modernize this um quite a bit so yeah so i'm thinking kitchen there this could be like an entrance so i'm going to try and get a staircase in this area as well um this could make a maybe a great dining room like a double height dining room very dramatic with loads of modern windows or something kind of here for that and then i'm thinking about having the um living room up here living room up on this level and then going up to where this was i was in two minds and i would love to recreate it kind of twice on both of these um thoughts that i had 
for now, I'm going to do this as bedrooms with maybe like a nice glass bit of roof in the middle or something. But my other thought was this would have made like a great rooftop garden still with the old like crumbling walls and roof and stuff and maybe having a bit of glass on top. I don't know. I was thinking that as well. That would have been a really good vibe. But because I want outside space here, I was thinking mm, it's going to limit the amount of space I could have for bedrooms. So I'm definitely going to have this as the bedroom area for this one. But maybe in my own time, I might renovate it again and do something completely different with the top level because that's just so inspiring to me. That whole top level there. I just love it. Love, love, love it. Um, and maybe utilizing this as space up here as well. Maybe I could put a, I don't know, a bathroom or something in there. That could be quite nice. But yes, I'm very excited. I'm very excited about getting this done. So Mona the Vampire, thank you so much for um, submitting this build. I'm in love of it and I cannot wait to do a bit of renovation. Saying Mona the Vampire, didn't Anastasia sing the theme tune to Mona the Vampire? I'll find that out. But for now, I'm going to get building this and I'll meet you back with the speed build format. Okay, my dears, here we are. We are here on the clear up process, obviously. Getting my absolute Virgo on. Cleaning up one bit by bit. Um, Had so much fun with this. Had so much fun playing around with this build. Really, really did. It even inspired me to kind of build my own version of like an old, old Cornish mine. And a, or an old Cornish mine house with like a big chimney and stuff. I think I'm going to do that though once we get over to Let's Build the Worlds. Um, in Brindleton Bay, which is going to be the next world coming up. Um, I think I'm going to do that. I think I bloody am, love. So I think you're going to absolutely be for it. Yes, you will. So this place made it into a two bedroom, um, two bathroom, two bedroom, two bathroom, modern kind of family home. Now, I didn't pay attention to the budget at all. I didn't pay attention to the budget. I think that overall price that it came out to was probably around 85,000. So I don't think I overspent too much considering I had like a 65,000 simoleon limit, but I reckon I might have overspent slightly. But again, just being realistic, I've <laughs> I've said that on the last three Design Me Devons now, and it's just because I just want to use all the money. To be honest with you, I'm going to put it down to that. We're just going to put it down to that, okay? So that's what's happened. Yes, it has. Um... <laughs> But, I don't know, loved doing this. Absolutely loved doing this. So, predominantly, I think what I said in the actual kind of like overview of this build, what I was going to do, I ended up doing. Um, for a start, I ended up putting a glass roof up here, two bedrooms on that level with a bathroom, and a little like outside space, not outside, but an office space underneath the glass roof. And it just looked really nice, like out in the hallway underneath in this part. It just looked really lovely. Really, really did. But yeah, this has definitely inspired me to do a Design Me Devon. I mean, let's build the world's kind of own version of this kind of thing. I'm going to be float. I'm just looking over. I'm floating around a lot. I'm going to move myself down. I am. <laughs> there we go. I'm just putting myself down there. So I might be covering some stuff, but it's better than me floating mid screen for goodness sake. Um, but yes, so yeah, and in here as well, so into the interior, the kitchen itself, I did end up just lifting up a couple of those platforms, so it flattened it out slightly. This area here ended up being the dining room, um, really, really nice, double height, quite a, a, a showstopper dining room. You would show this off, I reckon, if people came around to your house, um, uh, with this double height kind of roof line with these big windows. It's a great entertaining space as well. And I ended up using brick on all of the actual like chimney area. I just think I'd prefer the contrast between them both rather than everything blending through in that kind of stone. And it worked. It really, really did work. Did what I did here as well or said, did what I said, what, what, what I was going to do, um, which was put a platform out here. Um, and I actually sink this down into, um, like we do like a little sunken seating moment on that um, platform and it looked great. It looked really good. I think you guys are going to enjoy it once we actually get there. Uh, and I think I changed the foundation on it. So it's not kind of the on the um, pillars. But um, don't quote me on that because I can't remember. Cannot remember. 
I cannot remember. And I was like, oh, we're going to need to... Yeah, I did. I ended up going back to that one. Um, ended up going for a toilet there. So I actually did a little tiny extension just to be able to get a bathroom on this level in and still blend it into the original brick. Maybe they found some brick, resourced it, this local, local stone, and then um, did a little extension on the side. So I could have a bathroom done on this level because I was like, oh, we're going to have only have a bathroom on the third level. Like in my thoughts, I was like, that's not going to be good enough. That's not going to be good enough. We need to change it. And then this is me mapping out the upstairs area. And I tried to keep to the original footprint of what was already there and just play around with the interior a little bit. So managed to get a good staircase in as well. One that wraps around and then a straight one right up to the top. Um, in my head as well, this build is probably listed which if you don't know what that means in the UK, it means it's a kind of historic build. So you're not allowed to change too much of it. But I changed shitloads. I mean, I put glass in a bloody chimney for goodness sake. So we're going to overlook that today. <laughs> we're going to overlook it. But what do you guys call it in your, the countries that you're from? I know, I think it's in, Amer in America, is it historic? And I think it's the same in Australia as well, historic. I can't remember. What do you guys call your kind of really old buildings that are kind of protected by government laws where they're not allowed to change like, anything to it? I'd be interested to know that. And then, yeah, if you do tell me, make sure you tell me where what country you're from as well. <laughs> so, so I can like just get a bit of research. I love things like that. Why do I like learning sh like shit like that? I do. Useless inf well, it's not useless information because I'll always know it and I will store it in this weird brain of mine as well. Um, and I'm for it. Those low-lying flowers with the purple flowers on, they are from um, Outdoor Retreat. Never seen them before in my life. Never fucking seen them before. And they are the kind of like, they cover a big ground. I know they've got the purple flowers in the smaller form. Never ever seen them in that form there. And I love them. Pissed off, I was, to be honest with you, because they would have been utilised in very many builds. And um, yes, very fuming about it. Bit of tool mod in there. <laughs> that's as that's as far as my tool modding goes. <laughs> it's just lifting objects up or down or rotating them slightly. <laughs> that's me. I'm not um I'm not a whiz with the tool mod, nor will, nor will I ever be. Uh, not at all. So yes, this is what's going on. So this little area out here, I got rid of a lot of the landscaping. I didn't want it to look too kind of like meadowy. I wanted it to look a little bit more natural, but that it still kind of looked after and landscaped. So I stuck with the same kind of colour palette, this like dark purple, dark green, and a few kind of bluey looking lavender bushes as well, which are from Eco Lifestyle in the live edit part as well, where you can like change the swatches to them. Um, because they come in like full variety of colours, like that lavender flower. And I just I don't understand why they just didn't put that in the build catalogue themselves, but you know. Sims. Sims. That's all it comes down to, Sims. Ended up changing the patio. You know, the patio goes back there and squares off at the back there. I changed that. Um, I do that off of camera though. And I round it off at the back there. And then just carry more of the purple flowers around. And put two sun lounges there. But you'll see that in the kind of video tour anyway at the end. Um, and I was make sure to get a lot of this greenery going up the building as well. So I use a mixture of this like ye old university one. And then do what I do quite often and use the darker one just to give it a little bit more depth to it and stop it from looking too, I don't know. I don't know what the word is, so I'm not even going to try to think about it. But you know what I mean? I just like the definition between the contrasts of those greens and I'm for it. Really, really am. What are you doing this weekend? I'd be so interested to know what you guys are up to. I'm going to see my mum and dad today. We're going to have dinner out in their garden. My mum's cooking a roast chicken and I can't fucking wait because I miss my mum's roasts. <laughs> So I can't wait and very excited, very excited. And then for the other two days, I don't know what we're going to do, but I'm excited either way. I know I'm going to go and see my best friend on the Sunday and we're going to go for a big walk somewhere. But I don't know what else. Don't know what else. So yeah, this is the garden. You can see this is where I start sinking down the level now. Not too much. I go down two and then I put a platform in there so they can walk down quite easily into this. And then that allowed me to have like a really lovely little seating area where they can just come and chill out and... I just liked it. I really, really liked the vibe of this place. Off of camera as well, I end up darkening down the platform colour that I've used there, that grey. It still looks nice, but I just went for a little bit more depth because, I don't know, I just think it just added something to it. Made it look a little bit more deeper. 
I don't know. I don't know where my mind goes with stuff like this sometimes. But in my head, it worked. And you'll see that once again in the video tour at the end. Yes, you will indeed. Yes, you will. So out here, it's got a seating area. It's also got like a little picnic bench area, um, a barbecue area. Um, just some way they can come out and entertain. Now, in my head, this was kind of a big entertaining house. So I did want this aspect coming through. They've got that big bougie um, kind of knock your socks off dining room where you would show you that, that dining room off. And then I was thinking they would have to have some kind of outdoor eating space as well. So this is what I did. And using the snowy escape kitchen as well, I just thought worked quite well out here indeed. In the beginning, I was like, oh, is this going to be a bit tight to put a barbecue area here with a picnic bench? But I, I end up going for this picnic bench. I think it just looks a little bit smaller. Still the same footprint, but it just looks a little bit smaller. So yeah, I think it came with the Star Wars pack, that picnic bench. I think it did. Yeah, I think it did. I did. One of the first times I've ever used those kind of like awnings from Eco Lifestyle as well. Um, Not because I don't like them or anything. I do really like them don't like the swatches on quite a lot of them though there's only a few swatches I do like but I just wanted something that could overhang the big glass door and stop the um, sun from shining through into the kitchen and whatnot that was my thoughts on it so yes kitchen ended up going for the jungle adventure kitchen jungle adventure kitchen um not that I enjoy it but uh it was the best out of all of them that would match him with the vibe that I was trying to get across in here. I was trying to make it kind of modern, but not using much color in the kitchen itself. So I use a lot of like browns, grays, and blacks and whites. Um, and I think I like I like the kitchen afterwards. I really do. I end up doing a really nice little island here as well, but I shuffle it backwards one and um put some nice stools on it too and I think I used the stools these ones here which are from get famous uh, I didn't like the orientation that I put them in so you'll probably see the new orientation now um I just put them on the sides instead it was just looking a little bit weird but that's what I did and then here I put up two shelves either side of the kitchen cabinets uh just for a little bit of shelf space up to there and I love like the picture frame window like right above the oven I thought that was really cool it would have been better if I, and now I'm looking at it, I wish I moved the sink right and directly underneath of the window so they've got a view while they're washing up. Oh, I kind of wish I did that now. That would have been really, really cool. But hey, too late. It's done. You can do it if you want when you download this. Um, And don't forget to go and download the original as well from Mona. From Mona the Vampire. <laughs> go and download it from Mona and see what you guys come up with. I'm always interested to see what kind of things you would do with these builds as well. And I know there are several of you that do them and post them up to the hashtag as well, which I love. Do that, do that, do that. Um, Interact with that hashtag and get your builds up. And I'd love to see what you guys do with it. Very much would. So yeah, kitchen done. Now this is the dining room. Using chairs and a dining table, I don't really tend to use. I'm trying to use a little bit more stuff that I don't really use all the time. Um for certain builds because I find I'm getting too comfortable with the objects and it's just because I like them and I don't like the rest of them to be honest um, and I'm having far too much fun with custom content with decorating uh, but this one here I was like no no custom content for this so I use those chairs I forget where those chairs are from and I forget where that table's from as well so I'm no help to you but you can always just rewind the video back and have a little look at the icon but I just thought this suited in here do a double story or double aspect um shelf no nope. bookshelf using the bookshelf of dreams from get to work uh i just love it and that surface there is from get to work as well always forget about them that one's in the miscellaneous surfaces for get to work and there's quite a few miscellaneous surfaces in get to work that one of you guys reminded me of the other week and i think you guys would be surprised at some of the stuff that you could utilize in your builds there so make sure to check them out because they're so Absolutely, it's slower. Very nice and jade. Um, and I just wanted a couple of chairs just offset right next to the books uh, with a nice bit of lighting there as well. Um, and I like the dining room, really do. Entrance hall. So just like a nice sofa where they can come take their shoes off. Um, you know, just chill out, even read a book if they wanted. You know, I'm not fussy. Uh, I just thought it looked nice there. And that's from Moschino, that, um, that sofa. That sofa is from Moschino, so 
yeah, I just wanted a plain black and white sofa to help blend in the kitchen because the kitchen's very black and white. I wanted to pull that a bit forward onto this area here and I think it worked. Love that door. It's from Get Together. It's like that like churchy looking arched door. I hate the swatches on it. The swatches are so shit. They really, really are. And there's probably custom content out there that just has that door like in really lovely swatches. But like some of the glass mirror, oh god, they're awful. So um, there's a, there's like two or three swatches that aren't too bad, and the one that I used is my favourite. So yes, that's the way it goes. This is the downstairs loo. I end up changing that sink. It was just looking too big in here. So I raise the bathroom on, bath up onto a platform because I'm always like, oh, will the sim use that? But they actually do. They actually do get up and use uh, the baths when they are are on a platform. So that's what I did there. And you're probably thinking, there's no window in here. No, that's going to be the bathroom upstairs, actually. But this bathroom itself does has a sky does have a skylight plus a window. And the upstairs one just has a skylight. So yeah, that is what's happening. Yes, it is. So this is the mezzanine living room. I wanted to raise up the fireplace on a platform over that side. And also just this little seating area up on another platform. So it kind of tears up into the corner. Main reasons being the window was quite high and I still wanted them to be able to kind of like look out the window while they're sat in those sofas. And I like the juxtaposition between the two different windows there as well. Very much for new architecture looking pieces. Modern, contemporary with very classic pieces. Um, and I didn't even mention it, but I ended up changing all of the exterior like original windows for those arched ones from university as well. I just, I was into it, you know? And that's what I did. Now, I did a desk area here as well, looking over into the main floor, just because there's two sims in here. Maybe they both need a desk each. So there is two kind of workstations in this whole place. Um, but they're still kind of like intermingled around the house rather than having like a separate office room or something. I just thought that was going to be a nice vibe and that's what I did. Yes. Um, so I can't remember what I did here now. So this is going to be a surprise to all of us. I don't think I kept the... No, I didn't. I put... Sh no, not that shelving. I think I used the Eco Lifestyle shelving in that corner over there. And then... Um, I don't know. Did I put it like that? I don't think I did it like that. No, I don't like that. Move that, please, Aiden. Thank you. Oh, there we go. I'm listening to myself. There we go. Yes, that's better. That's better layout to me. And I didn't want to put many curtains or it, like hardly any curtains up on the windows in this house. Main reasons being you all know I hate them. But I just really like the look of a bare window against uh, like a brick wall. I do. It's just for me. The only places I've put some curtains in are, I think it's the main bedroom. Yeah, the master bedroom. I think is and then maybe a bathroom this room here um which again i've raised up on platform uh use that bed from snowy escape jungle adventure uh jungle adventure jungle jungle, Ad <laughs> jungle adventure kitchen cabinets for like kind of side tables and i think it looks nice i do i, I, I like how this came out and i'm liking the palette as well it's very me palette i use this palette in quite a lot of my builds dark browns stone timbers whites you know that kind of vibe but that's just me that's just me and this is designed me devon after all you know you're gonna get a devon influence in here somehow sweetie you really are but i definitely want to do another design me devon soon with some custom content as well so maybe the next one we do i'm gonna use some custom content because that could be quite nice and maybe even trying to find some new custom content um and i've got several um pieces that I really want to check out soon as well so maybe we could do that but I like this little area of the bed with the old window there and just the way that this looks I think it's nice especially rose up on a little platform area I like it and I like that we've kind of separated the partition walls off like the new walls using the same colored wood as the flooring I just think that it blends well it kind of sweeps the floor up and over very very nice oh I should be an interior designer I really should now I don't know if I could do that job because I reckon I would get maybe annoyed with some clients. Can you imagine? Like some really pushy clients trying to... Yeah, I don't know if I could do that vibe. Don't know if that's for me. Don't know if I could, but you never know. Never say never. What are we up to on the video? We have got two minutes left. Okay. Um, 
this is the area that I said that I really wanted to put a little like office spot out. Um, and I love it because it's in the kind of wraparound like glass window. And I just think it works so well. I think you guys are going to like it as well once you see it a bit more in the video tour compared to now because we're spinning around like nobody's business. But um, really simple, really nice. And I just think it's really effective. And it's such a great space to come and work as well. Like imagine, imagine like working in your office and just being able to look up and see a big, huge glass pane sky. Oh, I'd be for that. I really would. I've always said the day I know I've made it is when I've got my own big skylight. And I'm for it. Skylight above the shower. Oh, can you imagine? I always see when Zoe Suggs vlogs. She's got a beautiful bathroom with those huge skylights above her shower. I'm just like, blood, I'm jealous of that. I won't lie. Absolutely humanly jealous. But um, again, when you work hard, you get to get all those things, don't you? So maybe one day, maybe one day I will. Maybe one day I will. So this is the, just the single bedroom. Um, this is the single bedroom, but I still wanted to raise up the edges on platforms. I've played around with a lot of platforms with this house just to have a little bit of difference. Um, and... I like the way it looks. It just puts a little bit of, I don't know, je ne sais quoi onto rooms when you play around with platforms a little bit more. Um, so that's exactly what I did. And I think it's a vibe. I think it's a vibe. And I just, I like how it looks. Last room. So this is the main bathroom on the third floor. So this is obviously in the big chimney-esque area. Um, I just really like this bathroom. It's quite interesting shape to work with, but not that difficult either. Um, and I just end up doing a bath shower two sinks I think do I do two sinks I think so I can't remember and a toilet and I just think it works anyway I'm going to stop talking now because I've yabbered on long enough I'll be back on Monday my loves I don't know what with just yet but just keep an eye out for it um I hope you all have a lovely weekend I really really do and I'll see you all next week goodbye <music>